Posterior Reversible Encephalopathy Syndrome, PRESS, is a clinical condition frequently associated with hypertension, characterized by a range of neurological symptoms including headache, seizures, altered consciousness, and visual disturbances. While PRESS predominantly occurs in patients with severe hypertension, it can also manifest in individuals with normal or mildly elevated blood pressure levels. Overview of PRESS PRESS typically presents with rapid onset symptoms that can evolve within hours. The most common clinical features include headache, seizures, altered mental state, and visual disturbances. More than 70% of patients diagnosed with PRESS exhibit hypertension, although a significant number may not have markedly elevated blood pressure at the time of presentation. The peak systolic blood pressure in affected individuals often ranges between 170 and 190 millimeters of mercury. Pathophysiology The exact mechanisms underlying press are not fully understood, but several theories have been proposed. Endothelial dysfunction, due to severe hypertension, may lead to impaired cerebral autoregulation resulting in hyperperfusion and subsequent vasogenic edema due to disruption of the blood-brain barrier. Additionally, conditions such as sepsis or autoimmune diseases can exacerbate endothelial dysfunction, contributing to the development of press. Increased cerebral perfusion pressure can also cause damage to the brain's vascular system, leading to symptoms associated with press. Triggers and risk factors Press is frequently triggered by various acute conditions, particularly acute hypertension, acute kidney injury, eclampsia, sepsis, autoimmune diseases, immunosuppressive medications such as tacrolimus and cyclosporin, chronic hypertension, and kidney disease. Recognizing these triggers is essential for effective management. Neuroimaging for press. MRI is the gold standard for diagnosing press. The typical MRI findings include symmetrical hyperintensities in the posterior regions of the brain, particularly affecting the parietal and occipital lobes, and vasogenic edema that is reversible, meaning that it can resolve with appropriate treatment. CT scans may also be performed initially, but they are often normal or show low-density areas in the posterior lobes. Management the management of PRESS focuses on addressing the underlying causes and stabilizing the patient's condition. Gradual reduction of blood pressure is critical, with a target mean arterial pressure between 105 and 125 millimeters of mercury to avoid rapid drops that could lead to ischemia. Supportive care, such as hydration, correction of electrolyte imbalances, and monitoring for raised intracranial pressure may be required. Many patients may need transfer to an intensive care unit for closer monitoring and advanced interventions if they present with severe symptoms like encephalopathy or seizures. Press versus hypertensive encephalopathy. Press and hypertensive encephalopathy are both neurological conditions related to severe hypertension but they differ in their characteristics. Press is marked by reversible vasogenic edema, primarily affecting the posterior regions of the brain, with symptoms such as headache, seizures, and altered mental status, typically visible on MRI as bilateral posterior symmetrical hyperintensities. In contrast, hypertensive encephalopathy presents with acute brain dysfunction due to severely elevated blood pressure, leading to symptoms like confusion and seizures, and may show more diffuse cerebral edema on imaging without the specific posterior localization seen in PRESS. While both conditions require prompt treatment to prevent lasting damage, PRESS generally has a more favorable prognosis if identified early. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section.